Hi again. Here we are to finish our weather app. And uh, so far, you know, we've got the app working uh, mostly. You know, we've got, we're getting data from the internet and we're sending it along to, uh, to our view and our view's displaying the, the data somewhat. Uh, before we're done though, we need to um, have the app get to, um, you know, the city that we type in. Right now it's always giving us the weather for London. And that's because in the path here, we're setting up a query, if you recall. And uh, the query here says London, UK, right? So uh, this Q here represents our query. And then after that, we have the equal sign. And then it's got the city name. And what we want to do is we want to take the city name that we're passing into the get weather function and put it here. And, you know, really what we want to do is this. We want to replace, now be careful here, don't lose this ampersand or the equal sign. Okay, and let's not add any spaces in here either, right? So no spaces around this. Okay, so I'm going to get London, UK, and I'll type in the, you know, the little slash and the parentheses there. And then we'll put our variable inside here like this. And that is okay. Um, you know, we can just take the city name and plug it in here. This might cause problems at the server, though, because these addresses need to be escaped correctly. Like, I don't know if you remember looking at your web browser closely, but oftentimes in the, um, in the address bar, you'll see, you know, if you saw San Francisco up there, um, you know, it might not look like this. It would, you know, where the space was here, it would actually have a percent 20, right? And this is the escaping, and, and what it is is it's replacing special characters with a symbol to represent that character, and in, in the case of the space, it's percent %20. So what, what I'd like to do is I'd like to make sure that the string that we put here has been escaped correctly for the URL, okay? So what we'll do is we'll make a new string. We'll say let city um, escaped right, equals um, city dot uh, string, and you can just start typing string by adding, and this is a really long one, okay, it says string by adding percent and coding with allowed characters, okay, I'm going to start awards for the longest function name, and I'm going to put this one at, and at the top of the list right now, um, String by adding percent encoding with allowed characters, okay? And there's a, there's a couple of these. This is string by percent escapes using encoding, right? So we want this first one, though. String by adding percent encoding with allowed characters, okay? Um, so I'll, I'll just hit return when I see the one that I want. And then we need to do one more thing. And this is, I know this is pretty obscure. It's a little hard to figure this out. I had to look this up myself, right? Um so what we need to do here is we need to put the, the character set. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to just hit return so it types that. And we actually have to remove this allowed character set. And it should just say NS character set. And then what we'll do is we're going to type in here. We're going to type in um, URL host allowed character set. Okay. So I know that's a little weird there. So it's going to be ns character set dot url host allowed character set. Okay. So there we go. So I'll, let me leave that up there so you guys can read that. I know it's a little difficult um, because it's really long, right? But uh, we need string by adding percent encoding with allowed characters. And then inside the parentheses, ns character set dot URL host allowed character set parentheses. Okay. Okay. So now that we've got that, we've got this string city escaped. Well, let's just use that here instead of city. So we get the city name here that someone types into the, um, the alert box and we escape it. So what happens here is we take this string and you know, this function looks through it and finds all of the special characters 
that need to be escaped and it escapes them using this set of characters so it makes sure that you know they're accepted by our URL host right and then it gives us a string back that has the you know the special characters replaced with the escape characters and and then we're going to use that string right here okay so doing this now we should be able to view the weather for any city let's give it a test so we'll click the play button here and I did a little bit of work on this we'll talk about this later right um, so I'll type in the city name let's type in San Diego and then I'll click OK oh I got a problem oh I forgot so it says uh, optional San Diego right um, unexpected you know fatal error unexpectedly found nil while unwrapping optional value what I think is um, is I think that this right here this um, city escaped is an optional value right because this function returns an optional and we can test that with the option key so I'll hold you know, option values option key funny huh uh, I'm gonna hold the option key and then you know this turns blue and when I click on it you can see it says um, that's kind of in my way there uh, it says string with the question mark so that means that this string is an optional so we actually have to unwrap it so right here um, let me get out of this let me stop that and then right here after the city escaped let's put the exclamation point and that'll unwrap that okay and then we'll test it again and here we are so we'll click on city name let's type in San Diego click OK oh look it's sky is clear it's 21.589 degrees let's try another city what if we said uh, Paris that's halfway around the world let's click uh, OK oh scattered clouds 13 degrees Celsius what about uh, um, Westbrook hmm, broken clouds 12 degrees right what about uh, San Francisco let's do San Francisco 12.7 sky is clear so I think it's kind of working right um, anyway so so that'll get us any city that we want now okay so we've got that taken care of okay so thanks for watching and then we'll we'll talk more about the uh, the you know the display and the image and some and the other things uh, in the next video